Our first comic is a Jew from New York. Yeah! A, yeah! The black guy clapped the most, man. <laughs> now, what's your nationality? What do you do? For? I'm Puerto Rican Indonesian. Yeah, okay. That's pretty cool. All right, bring up Jeff Simon, a Jew from New York! Jeff the guy, one of the top divorce attorneys in uh, Manhattan. I've got divorced so many times on my family share plan. Uh, how's everybody doing? Like you said, I'm a Jew from New York. Uh, I, was, I was just looking at this Upper East Side Jew. He just dumped his wife for a hot young Russian chick. Uh, don't feel bad for the wife. Uh, she gets the summer house in the Hamptons, the East Side apartment, the Mercedes, and $5 million cash. Are there any unmarried women here? Yeah. What do you do? You should be on the Upper East Side trying to get some Jew to marry you. Be set for life. Can you use uh, $5 million or a Mercedes? If I was a woman, that's where I'd be right now, on the Upper East Side. Uh, I grew up in the 50s. My favorite Jew on the Yankees was the general manager. Uh, we finally got a Jew in the 70s. He was so bad that we didn't get another Jew for 30 years after that. And in fact, we've got a Jew right now. His name is uh, Eugulus. I don't know if you ever heard of him, Eugulus. When he gets announced, I don't know whether it, the crowd is going yuk 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 or Jew Jew Jew. But uh, he made an error the other night. What's the game? They were definitely yelling, Jew, Jew, Jew. Hitler had the right idea. Uh, I, I just told a friend of mine, a good friend, he lives in Tampa. He just moved there from Lauderdale. He says he loves it there. The, things he, the thing he misses most about the East Coast, he hasn't seen a big nose in three months. Thank you. It's a good crowd here. I, I just broke up with a Jewish woman. The first thing she would say to me every morning was, how's your stock portfolio doing? And I would say to her, I don't know. I haven't turned CNBC on yet. And she suffered from a bad case of crow's feet around her eyes. And it kept getting worse. Whenever I told her to suck my dick, she goes, Suck what? <laughs> um, I, um, I, I know this Jew, he lost $20 million to Bernie Madoff. Yeah. You believe that shit? He knew it was a Ponzi scheme. As soon as he got his first monthly statement, it was handwritten on a hot dog wrapper. <laughs> All it said was, you're up 20% love Bernie. He didn't turn Madoff in because when a Jew was up like, 10 to 15 percent, it's too good to be true, you know? The Jews up 20 percent, it's like being high on crack of heroin. You're totally not in touch with reality. The last time I was up 20 percent, I was seeing hookers every night, eating lobster at Del Frisco's, sitting courtside at Nick Games. Uh, if the Jew is up 20 percent, you're dumping your wife for a hot young Russian chick. I've never... Um, yeah, let's see what we got here. I'm... Uh, it's not easy to get, the toughest thing about getting old is when uh, these Dunkin' Donut bitches give you the senior discount automatically. And uh, uh, it's tough, but you know, I, I can't have sex with hot young women anymore without a Viagra. And, uh, and my appetite's not what it used to be. I got so full on this uh, four pound lobster in, in melted butter with the baked potato and broccoli at Del Frisco's the other night, I couldn't finish my seven layer cake, you know? <laughs> got a really bad case of heartburn. My doc, my, and my doc just told me a million times, you got to cut down on the melted butter, you know? And uh, I did a lot of coke in the 80s. Anybody do coke here? Yes. All right, well, what a great drug. You see the movie Blow? No, no, but uh, yeah. Uh, when you're fucking a chick, you could last forever, you know? When I was playing ball, I thought it was Larry Bird. <laughs> Every joke works on coke. You know, every show works on coke, you know? Not like this hit or miss shit, you know? And uh, everybody in the 80s did coke, you know? If you came out of a bathroom in the 80s and weren't whistling, you, you were just out of coke, you know? <laughs> and uh, it, it made you a little paranoid. Like, if I was open and you didn't get me the ball, I would threaten to kill you. Even if I wasn't open, I would threaten to kill you. I used to get into fights all the time. I never lost a fight on coke, I was undefeated. <laughs> my proudest victory was against my mother-in-law. Uh, I told her to shut the fuck up, you fat bitch. She started to cry and stopped talking. Ring Magazine named me Fighter of the Year. Uh, the rematch was on pay-per-view. I kicked her ass in that one, too. Uh, I just bought this weed, uh, unbelievable weed, 500 an ounce. This shit is so unbelievable. It takes you... This guy is definitely, definitely a weed smoker. This shit is so unbelievable. It takes you to the next level takes you to the next level and it doesn't fuck you up, okay? I got money out of the ATM on the first try last night. 
<laughs> and you can multitask on this drug. You can multitask. I could go from uh, the Met game to the Yankee game to Anderson Cooper 360 without a problem. And uh, it's so expensive, though. You know, I can only use it for special occasions, like if a hooker's coming over or a family get-together. <laughs> The only problem with weed is that you smell like weed. You smell like it. You smell like weed. Like I was in a bar the other night. Some guy says really loud, smells like marijuana in here. You know, I know the guy. Some asshole motherfucking Republican who thinks marijuana or weed is a gateway drug to heroin, you know? This guy listens to Rush in his car, jerks off to a picture of O'Reilly every night, you know? Makes all his girlfriends uh, dye their hair blind and wear padded bras so they look like Fox News channel anchors. You know, he's a typical asshole Republican, you know? And uh, I, used to, I know this woman, she has the most incredible ass I've ever seen in my life. And she's really smart. She knows who the President of the United States is. <laughs> Not only that, she knows who was in charge before Obama became President. She told me it was Dick Cheney. She, she told me that George Bush was a front for Dick Cheney and a Cheney ran the country. I asked this woman to move in with me, you know? She wants a $100,000 line of credit and a weekly allowance, you know? I told her, I could do the weekly allowance, but you gotta be kidding me with this line of credit, you know? So I, I, I Googled unbelievable asses, you know, just see what they go for. She, it turns out she gave me an unbelievable price. So to God, uh, you know, Jennifer Lopez, the nicest ass in the world, her net worth is $250 million. Believe that? And uh, Serena Williams, the tennis player, who threatened to shove a tennis ball down some wine judge's mouth, her net worth is 85 million. So this, sh this chick must have liked me. <laughs> Can you laugh a little louder, please? I'm being video. <laughs> I mean, uh, come on, what are you fucking for? I could do some coke here to get some laughs. Uh, I, know, I know this guy, I know this guy. Uh, he, uh, he dated some woman on Match.com, and she didn't look anything like her picture. Her picture, she posted five pictures. I won't go out with a chick unless she posts like 20 pictures. I, I don't want to get burned again, you know? And uh, the problem with these women is they lie a lot, especially about their age, you know? Like I, I, uh, I went out with this woman, she was supposed to be 50, she was in her 80s. I couldn't get her wheelchair on my car. I couldn't get it to fold up. And uh, she gave me the worst blowjob I've ever gotten in my life. And then she wanted to know if I'm going to take her out again. You know? I said, we're going to have to take accessory. I can't spend all night getting your wheelchair on my car, you know? And then uh, I clicked on this woman's profile on Match.com. Her body type is, I'll tell you later. Well, what are you going to tell me? After I buy a $100 steak at Del Frisco's? Is that what you're going to freaking tell me, man? And, uh... Yeah, and it's, it's I'm talking about these, these dating, you know? And then, uh, uh, the best time to meet a woman, though, is uh, when her husband dies. Really, I'm telling you, man. Before they get on these dating websites, and uh, guys start hitting on them, and their friends start putting ideas in their head like all men are bad people. That's why I like to hang out in the I ICU, you know? I like to make my move, make my move as soon as they pull the plug on, on a guy's respirator. That's when I like to make my move, you know? And uh, if, that, if I can't get to the ICU in time, I, I'll, I'd like to be at the funeral, like as soon as it's over, when everybody's walking back to the car. The only thing, you gotta put, put up with these cock blocking kids. He's clinging to their mommy, saying stupid things like, uh, you're not gonna start dating right away, are you? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a pharmacist, I, I work for Rite Aid. Anybody go to Rite Aid here? Yeah. All right, all right, my, my wait time is 20 minutes. 20 minutes, except if uh, you threaten to fire me, and then I'll wash it, you know? Like this daddy's little girl entitlement bitch, double parks her Mercedes, comes in and, and says, if you don't rush it, I'm gonna get you fired. I did in like 20 seconds, you know? I mean, I, I get two years to go before I get, you know, Social Security, Medicaid, Medicare. So, you know, you gotta like, you know, protect yourself, you know? Then this, this gay guy comes in 10 minutes later and says, if you don't suck my cock, I'm gonna get you fired. I said, get the fuck out of here. Uh, I get out at 5 o'clock, I'll see you in a parking lot behind a dumpster where we always meet. You gotta keep your job, you know? And then uh, this, do we have this blood pressure machine, like, right in the waiting area of the pharmacy? You've seen them, right? Right, AP? Yeah. 
and these people like take their pressure and want me to make a comment, you know? So they go like, uh, uh, 120 over 80. Hey, that's great. 110 over 70. What do you want to live forever? 240 over 210. Anthony Weed has got a better chance of becoming mayor than you have of being alive at this time tomorrow. Uh, I'll, I'll finish with this one and uh, one more pharmacy joke. I see people just love pharmacy jokes. Like, uh, but the uh, think about you know I, I, all I want to all I want to do is keep my job you know that, that's that's my goal in pharmacy. But my boss, who's a gay Jew and loves cock, hates me because I I keep getting customer complaints and I fail the last mystery shopper report. Like the mystery, you know the mystery shoppers, right? This guy comes in and he says, "What do you got for rectal itch?" And I go like this, rectal itch. And he goes, "What the fuck is that?" I go, "It's your finger. It's the best thing for rectal itch." This guy gives me a zero on a mystery shop report. You believe you believe this shit? My boss comes in, and I swear to God, the next day to fire me. I said, I said to my boss, you could suck my cock. I'm not getting fired because the mystery shopper doesn't have a sense of humor. So you know what he says to me? He says, if you, you gotta sign up, you can keep your job. You gotta sign an agreement saying I, I get to suck your cock every time you fail a mystery shopper or get a customer complaint. I gotta let this guy suck my cock to keep my job. All right, thank you very much. I'm gonna give you back to the great Scotty. Keep it going, let's hear some. Yeah. 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 Wu Tang, man, come on.